Welcome to Pretoria East, soon to be South Africa's richest square mile. This is Mendland, Maine, and behind me is a four bedroom, four bathroom penthouse suite. My name is Chad Viveros, and I'll be taking you around South Africa, showing you some of the most luxurious properties SA has to offer. So follow me, because it's time, baby! Here we are inside a four bedroom, four bathroom penthouse in the center of Menland. This is Menland, Maine, and wow, what a door that is. It is absolutely cavernous, vault-like, and it does lend a touch that the rest of this apartment does, and that's a touch of quality. Great entrance hall leading to the first and my favorite feature of this house, and that is young Mila over here, but unfortunately, she does not come with the house. So let's move on to the kitchen. We've got beautiful marble countertops and that is even within the other side of the kitchen which we'll show you in a moment, as well as a built-in dustbin. So all your food scraps can go right there. Then we've got a featured sink made by Robert Walford. There's also a splashback that I'm gonna show you a little bit later. And right over here, we've got a fully wood butcher's block. I'm sure preparing your meals here must be an absolute treat. And it lends in just a little bit of homeliness into a house this size. I'm sure you guys have noticed this already, but right behind me we've got a wine cellar. So let's go take a look at what they've got. Now, with lockdown restrictions in effect, I'm sure many of you can sympathize with my need for a good bottle of wine. Let's see what they've got. Let's take a look at this one. Now, let's take a look at that kitchen and find a corkscrew. But before I leave, take a look at this wine cellar. There's plenty of space for some glassware. There's cabinetry all over the place, as well as some really nice areas for you to put decorations in here and make it your own space. Now, moving into the kitchen, the first thing I'd like to notice is the Miele inbuilt ovens. We've got the oven, the microwave, as well as the fridge. Then, right over here, we've got the induction cooktop with an inbuilt extractor fan. Finally, that fan is where you want it, not floating up in the ceiling. And right over here is that Robert Wolfield splashback. All the way at the bottom, we've got matte gray inbuilt storage with soft clothes. On the left-hand side, we've got a double sink, your faucet here, and another one of these awesome bins. Plenty of space here for budding cooks or cooks that are already well established and bakers because there's another oven, not one, but two ovens, to really find themselves. You can spend as much time as you want in this kitchen. You're never gonna feel crowded. You're never gonna feel like this wasn't made for an aspirational chef. Now near the back is where you'd put all of your washing machines as well as tumble dryers. And there is another sink just to the right here for you to utilize if you need it. On my left hand side is an inbuilt scullery for you to utilize all of that cupboard space and make sure you don't take this up with anything you don't want on display because that is what this house is all about. Coming out of the kitchen area, you find yourself within the living room and the dining area. There's wood flooring throughout the house as well as a wood feature wall where your TV is. Now, continuing the design elements of this house, you'll find yourself a more so fireplace with no chimney. So it is nice and compact in the corner resting on some stone blocks and we know we have chilly South African evenings. Now, talking about chilly, on the summer days you can stack your floor to ceiling glass doors all the way open and you have got plantation shutters eliminating the need for curtains within the house. Leaving the living room area, you find yourself in the dining room area and it is a fantastic place to be. Plenty of space, plenty of space. This could easily accommodate a 10-seater dining room table. With sliding doors on my right and sliding doors behind me, if we open them all up, you can enjoy Sunday, Saturday, Friday, lunches here with families. It really is an entertainer's dream that latches on perfectly with the way the kitchen is built up. There's two seating areas situated outside a dining area, as well as an area just to enjoy the beautiful pool and the stunning views you get from outside. And we're gonna be showing you that a little bit later. Also, throughout the living area, you'll see ceiling fans, not one, but two, as well as down lighting situated everywhere you could possibly need light. Just off the dining room area and the lounge area, you'll find yourself in the study. Now the study's got plenty of space for you to sit and do all your work. And there is a fan above you, just in case these bills are making you sweat. 
just to my left you'll see beautiful beautiful bookcases and above there's some space for some filing there but this house has got four bedrooms and four ensuite bathrooms each of those bedrooms have access to the garden so what i want to do now is let's go show you those bedrooms first bedroom here we are immediately on your right you've got some inbuilt cupboards it is the same color as all the other cupboards in the house and the continuity is awesome on the right as well there's a built-in dressing room area marble countertops and as we move into the bedroom you'll see that this is the smallest of the four bedrooms but ample space here to use this as another office space or as in a kids playroom or a kids bedroom there are plantation blinds throughout the whole house as well and you'll find that here in this bedroom too the bathroom area has got a shower basin as well as a toilet the shower has a garden view so it brings in so much light and so much air to a bathroom that might otherwise be dark beautiful tiling throughout the bathroom i have to give them credit i love the colors and i love the way the light interacts with those tiles to make it look so warm and yet still classy in this bathroom now let's go to the second one and we are increasing these bedrooms we're going to make them better and better until we bring you finally to the creme a la creme, the master suite. Oh, sorry about that. So here we are within the second of the four bedrooms. This one is definitely larger and there are two vanities as I'm sure you've noticed. You could DJ at them or like normal persons, you can just use them to get ready. There's also ample cupboard space and this incredible garden behind me full garden access like I've mentioned within all the bedrooms now let me show you the ensuite bathroom so coming through the hallway and you know you've got a nice house when you've got a hallway for the bedrooms you've got your ensuite bathroom going into this bathroom you'll see you've got your toilet your floating sink beautiful mirrors as well as another incredible shower Guys, I cannot say enough about the showers within this house. So much attention has been paid to them and it really does feel it. When you walk into these showers, they look incredible. There is also, and I forgot to mention to you this in the previous bathroom, and that is heated towel racks within all the bathrooms throughout the house. So on those cold South African days, you're gonna have a nice toasty towel. Now, let's go take a look at the creme de la creme of this house, and that is the master bedroom coming into the master bedroom your eyes immediately drawn to the way the architects use this wood to separate the master bed from the walk-in closet and you're going to need your sun hat when you enjoy the unobstructed views from this bed of the pool and all that pretoria countryside <laughs> but that doesn't end there let's go take a look at the master bathroom Right here, we have a bathroom of exceptional quality. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever been in, and that is just the way it's designed. Not only have you got views of the pool from the freestanding bathtub, and I mean, look at the shape of this bathtub. Look at the faucets. So much attention has been paid to all of this, and I absolutely love it. Then we have got a floor to ceiling glass shower that is enormous. And I like that because you've got lots of space to rub a dub dub. And behind me, not only have you got the very, very nice and stylish sink, you've got both a toilet and a bidet. You know you're living the life of luxury when you've got a bidet in your master suite bathroom. But that is not all for this house. Let's go take a look at outside. Coming out of the master bedroom, you find yourself in this garden, and this garden is completely wraparound. So every single one of the bedrooms have access to the garden. As a South Africans, we're so used to being boxed in by walls, but because this house is raised up from the ground floor, we get to use balustrades instead of walls, and it makes such a difference. It is completely open here, airy and fresh. It really seems like you're having a visit at the Botanical Gardens. But you also notice this lap pool, it is heated. So winter is not making anything go off limits right here. We are talking about the lap of luxury. A couple of other features on this house is it does have five parking bays, two storage bays, as well as a separate domestic quarters with its own bathroom. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, we've said four bedrooms, we've said four bathrooms, but we've only shown you three of each. 
There is a separate fourth bedroom and bathroom. However, we didn't have access to it today, but we will be showing it to you in this video. The outside area, other than having three separate seating areas, has a Chado Chef grass fry as well as a Mele deep fryer. Both of these are gas operated and should be easy to use come rain or shine. There's also plenty of storage space both below the gas fry as well as above it. There you have it folks, four bedroom, four bathroom, penthouse mansion in Menland, Maine. If this is the house for you, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to contact Andre Skiokati from Apple Properties. His details will be on screen right now and he'll arrange a viewing for you. But that is all we have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching the Home Shopper Show, proudly brought to you by Private Property and we'll be seeing you next time. My name is Chad Viveros and I'll be taking you all around SA, showing you some of the most luxurious properties South Africa has to offer. And today we are in Pretoria East, soon to be South Africa's richest square mile, situated right now in Menland, Maine. And right over there on the 15th floor, we have a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment going for 5.7 million that I cannot wait to show you. So come with me. Welcome to the 15th floor, the coolest and most impressive view you're going to see anywhere in Menland, Maine. This balcony is one of the two within this apartment and it has space for both a gas bry as well as some storage space behind me where you can even fit an aircon. However, let's take you to the crowning glory of the apartment and that is the master bedroom. Come with me. And here we are within the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom has got a lot of space but also a lot of attention to detail has been paid throughout the room. The first thing that I really like are these cupboards. They've turned a wall that would generally just be a wall of cupboards into a feature wall. These cupboards sliding on hinges both top to bottom with a safe in one of them. And these attention to details I feel really does turn an apartment that just might be average into a beautifully crafted apartment. There's also, as I mentioned, a lot of space here and a lot of space in bedrooms becomes very important when you start looking at what types of beds you want to put in them. This here is a queen bed and there would be no problem fitting in a king with extra length. However, my favorite feature within this bedroom is the bathroom behind me, which I'm sure you can already see. So let's go and explore that. A great deal of thought has been placed within the conservation of space within this apartment. There's a glass wall dominating the shower, separating it from the rest of the bathroom and allowing you to enjoy those 180 degree views of Pretoria, which is incredible because Pretoria, one of the few cities that still has remained as green as it is. And as you can see behind me, those yields rolling in the background must make for incredible showers as well as baths. As you can see on the right hand side of me, there's a floating bathtub, Hunsgrove taps, within all of the apartment and this nice floating basin with a very very big mirror and floating toilets really does lend an air of sophistication towards an otherwise ordinary apartment. Coming out of the master bedroom you'll find yourself in the kitchen. This kitchen is dominated by marble countertops throughout. It also has three very very thoughtful features that I absolutely love. The first of those features is the cupboard that houses your washer dryer. The second is the cupboard that houses your microwave. My third favorite feature of this kitchen is the Hunscro tap that has an inbuilt shower head. How easy would it be to clean up your dishes with this? Both of the sinks are melee, as well as both of the appliances behind me and the oven over here. 
Moving forward, we've also got a melee stovetop, which is touch sensitive. So it's very, very easy to keep clean, not needing to go through the knobs. The tiles throughout this unique apartment also act as a feature splashback behind the stove. The apartment also has space for a double door fridge. Over here, at the end of the kitchen, we've got an inbuilt wood top breakfast nook. You can have breakfast here while enjoying the incredible views outside. And another very, very cool feature and very thoughtful from the developers is this over here. You've got these cupboards here that I'm sure many of you would think can just be storage space but not within this apartment. We've got a coffee nook that's built in over here. Plenty of storage space at the bottom with everything a caffeine lover needs. Let's close this up, we're not in use, and look at the uninterrupted facade. Moving into the living room area, a very, very cool point of this is everything you see here today, everything you see in this video, is all included with this apartment. Other than, unfortunately, the paintings. But this living room area is essentially a place for you to enjoy the 180 degree views you get from this balcony of Pretoria, the light and the air. Another very, very cool feature within both of the bedrooms and this living room are right at the top of the sliding doors, there are hatch windows that you can open up and letting a little bit more fresh air. But that is not all that you get with this apartment. So let's go take a look at the second bedroom and bathroom. Here we are within the second bedroom and ensuite bathroom. And you'll see this theme of space conservation continues. It's so easy within apartments of this size to feel small. And that is never the case here. Within this bathroom, there is a floor to ceiling glass enclosed shower, as well as floating toilet and a massive double volume vanity. Moving in to the bedroom again, plenty of light, plenty of air. It's shared across the apartment and it really is so easy to enjoy it here. But there's no better place to enjoy it than your own personal balcony. You can sit on that balcony having your morning coffees, using that coffee nook and getting the most out of it. This bedroom has also got plenty of space for a king size bed and also has those featured sliding cupboards. Thank you very much for joining us viewing this stunning two bedroom, two bathroom, 5.7 million rent property on the 15th floor in the heart of Mainland Maine. And we'll see you next time on the Home Shopper Show, proudly brought to you by Private Property.